News comes out of Tampa today um, that Luis Severino uh, has some problems with his forearm. So I will read the tweets from my colleague Jack Curry from the Yes Network. Uh, an hour ago, he tweeted that Aaron Boone, Yankee manager, said Luis Severino has some forearm soreness that dates back to his last start of the ALCS. Boone said Severino will be examined by Dr. Christopher Ahmad, that's the Yankee team physician, tomorrow. Said Severino will be shut down for at least a few days. It's been an off and on issue. So Boone said it's definitely, quote, concerning. Now, he usually doesn't say stuff like that. Jack goes on to say, regarding Severino forearm issue, it dates back to the ALCS, but Boone said Severino was cleared and would have started a possible Game 7 of the ALCS. Throughout the offseason, he had MRI, et cetera. The pain cropped up again last night. Uh, Cashman said Severino has been prescribed anti-inflam meds and rest. He won't see a mod tomorrow, as Boone had said. Cashman said this is an unknown, and he doesn't know if it's a short-term or long-term issue. Severino feels the pain in his right forearm when he throws his changeup, a pitch that requires him to pronate his arm. And for those that don't know what pronate is... Explain if pronate. You, if you're throwing a curveball, right, like, like put your arm above your head right now, your, your two fingers would spin the ball to the outside. You, 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 right. you would spin those two that, that way. Uh, but if you pronate, then you spin the ball inside toward your head, and it just creates a different kind of torque on the arm. So that's what he means about pronate. Um, both Boone and Cashman noted that Severino has a, quote, loose body in his arm while no new test or schedule. Cashman said that could change, and, you know, Peter's in Vegas, so he knows all about loose bodies. Excuse Take me. three on Severino seeing Dr. Ahmad. He's actually still in Florida and might examine Severino tomorrow i know that don you know kind of poo-pooed or shot me down i understand why he did it with the paxton thing but this is coming fast and furious yeah. so so judge who's throwing a little bit more but still will not play on saturday the first uh, spring training game and hasn't really unleashed any throws from the outfield he's been bothered by a shoulder paxton's going to be out until may now severino who missed most of last year i think he made only five starts you don't, I mean, Boone is questioning whether or not he's going to be ready for the opening of the season. So now no. Jordan Montgomery then would go from your fifth starter to your fourth starter, and then you'd be looking at maybe a Jonathan Loisaga as your number five starter. No, that's a problem, Michael. Obviously, when I heard about Paxton, I'm like, listen, you got a lot of capable pitchers. You're, you've got a great offense. You could be able to survive that for a guy that could still very easily come back in May. But now if you're telling me you're starting the season without Paxton, without Severino, that becomes a bit of a problem. Plus, when does it end? Is this not just deja vu all over again? It's amazing. I mean, guys lost their jobs last year because of this. So they've, they've changed some doctors and trainers, correct? Not doctors. Trainers. They, they elevated the assistant trainers, and Stevie, Donahue, who's been there forever, is kind of a trainer emeritus. So I don't know if it's just bad luck or something going on there. That and they also changed the, I mean, they brought in a guy who's an expert. You know, they, they, they got rid of the strength and conditioning coach. So you go through these devastating injuries last year, devastating in number, but clearly not in effect because they still won 103 games. And then you follow that up with, oh, by the way, Paxton's going to be out for a couple of months. Oh, by the way, Judge, his shoulder's a little barky. Oh, by the way, Severino now is questionable for starting the season. I mean, this is ridiculous now. Now, um, Kurt Schilling, obviously an expert on pitching. You can certainly make your judgments on if he's an expert on other things. Uh, he retweeted Ken Davidoff of the Post story. Uh, Ken Davidoff uh, writes, rough start for Yankee spring training. Here's our story on Luis Severino's injury setback. And Schilling retweets and writes, this is not going to end well. So he had a shoulder issue last year. The forearm issue came up um, during the ALCS. He's had a whole winter to rehab, and then it crops up again. This is going to bite the Yankees, because remember, right before he got hurt last year, they signed a four-year contract with him. Four-year, $40 million dollar contract. That, listen, they got nothing bad. out of him last year, and now we start this way. You just cross your fingers. I just love to watch the guy pitch. He's such a great pitcher. But, goodness, this is not good news. There's no way you could say this is good news. No, it's not good news at all. And this is starting to pile up on him specifically. You're right. They gave him a contract extension, and he has really done nothing. And can you count on him now moving forward? Because, boy, if he's at the top of his game, he's one of the best pitchers in baseball. But can you count on that? 
No, I don't think you. How can you? No, you can't. You just can't. I mean, you're trying to move forward. All right, what's our rotation look like? Well, we got Severino as one of our top guys. He'd probably be one or two if he were healthy, but he's not healthy. Paxton, not going to be healthy for the first couple of months of the season. You just Tanaka's, took your, your number two and three starters out. And Tanaka's Tanaka overcome. is now your number two. Right, but Tanaka has overcome it. Yeah. Like, but he's still somebody that will that elbow eventually go. And, and thank goodness they didn't trade Jay Happ. Think about that. Jay Happ now is their number three right. starter. So Jordan Montgomery becomes your number four, and maybe this gives a guy uh, the Yankees' first-round draft pick from a couple of years ago that everybody likes, Clark Schmidt. Maybe he gets a chance. Maybe Davey Clark Garcia, Schmidt. the 20-year-old, gets a chance. But you, know, you, you, all of a sudden, you're you're really mining your depth, which is oh. never a good thing in spring training. You just never have enough pitching, right, guys? I mean, obviously, I'm, you look at it and it's all we're set. You you got to plan on guys getting hurt. You got to plan on guys not being able to finish the season or go on the disabled list. I